Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. So in this one, it's going to be rather quick, but I'm going to show you how to align the image and the title and meta and everything else in the Divi blog module. This may be something that you hadn't really even noticed, but once you see it, you're going to be like, oh yeah. Um, and you might want to take a look at your blog module and maybe you want to use this trick. Let's get started. I'll show you what I mean. So here I have a blog module set up here on my demo site. And, you know, right away it's obvious now that we're thinking about it that the image is wider than the title, the meta, the excerpt, and the read more button. And, you know, this might be fine. Um, you know, in this, right here in this section, I just have a white background. And then I have my blog module set up in a grid and everything. And it's fine. But here, I want to show you how it would look if you had a white background in here, but a darker background back here. Well, right away, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Um, it looks terrible because, well, to me it does. For one thing, I have the rounded radius on the image, so like it's really obvious. It might be okay, even if you were doing this, but even again, you can't control this amount of space right here, like around your, your, your text and button, right? So what I'm going to do, well, here, let me start out. There's actually negative margin on the image, and it's kind of strange. So, like, think of it this way. By default, it's actually set up correctly where it aligns, but there's negative margins on the image. I'm just going to show you really quick here in the code what I'm talking about. So it's on the image container, um, and you can see it right here. I know it's small, but um, the ET... PB image container has a margin of negative 20 on top, negative 20 on the sides, and 29 on the bottom. So we need to get rid of that, um, get rid of the negative margins. I, for some reason I had it in my head that it was negative 19, but okay, it's negative 20, whatever. So basically if I would come in here and say zero, well, there you can see that it aligns. So that's what we want to do. So go on over to the written tutorial here. And if you're on YouTube, all my tutorials have a written post where you can come over here and grab the code. So this is really simple. It literally is just this one line. We're just targeting this, this ETPB image container and we're adding it you know, to our child theme or if you just want to put it in your page or um, in your uh, Divi theme options. I'm going to hop over here and um, actually, I'm going to refresh the page because remember I changed that in the inspector there. It doesn't save that. In this particular case, I'm going to show you in a Chrome browser that I use called User CSS. It's a Chrome browser. An extension, a Chrome browser extension is what I meant to say. So basically, I have this extension where I can paste code and it shows it a live preview. Now I would need to then go take it and put it, you know, in theme options or in my style sheet. So under Divi, um, goes to the first option here, theme options, and then you would scroll down to the bottom and you could put it here. Now that would affect every, you know, blog image container on your whole site. And if you wanted to, like, if you wanted to make this only apply to your particular blog, you could say like, uh, dot, uh, PA blog align image something like that right where you have a special class in front of it and and then um, you could go back here and add it to your module but for me I'm just showing you how simple it is um, to just change it site-wide um, custom class is something people always ask about but anyway that that's the first thing and you saw how literally I'm just reversing the margin to zero it, super simple super easy we actually have it on our blog right here on the the main blog feed um, you can see that ours actually aligns and since we have this border around we also need to have this spacing because can you imagine you know trying to have um, a border around here with no spacing it, it wouldn't look right because it would be a right yeah it, it wouldn't look right so i have this next little snippet and again, it's just, it's very simple. It's totally optional too. Um, but I'm going to put that in here also. 
And what that does, it adjusts, it, it made the spacing here a little more. And I could change this. Here, watch this. I'm going to change this to like 34 or 44. Hopefully you can see the huge difference it's making. It's adding spacing around each individual post here in, in the blog feed. Um, and so that's just something, you know, I have there to do because, you know, if that was, um, well, you know, if it was like that, that wouldn't look right. But if it's just default, well, then it's, you know, but if you want to set it to custom, there you go. I just thought that went really well with uh, aligning the image. Again, the image, you're literally just saying margin zero on the image container and you're done. Very simple. This is one of the shortest, simplest tutorials. But I will say this, that I'm leading up to a whole bunch of tutorials for the blog. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove the meta separators, show you how to highlight like the date or the category up over the image. Boy, what are all of them? Well, anyhow, I have a bunch of them coming up here on, on my blogs. On, you're going to see them right here. So definitely be checking back for them. This is kind of like one of those little ones where, you know, people don't realize it, but I, I strategically plan tutorials um, throughout the whole year. And then, you know, a lot of times it's leading up to something else that I will then base it on. Like I'll look back and say, now let's get back to this tutorial. And, uh, if you want to do this, so that's kind of what this one is a very short, simple and sweet one that, um, honestly, it does something kind of important. I mean, I think it's important. Um, it's, it's very simple, but yet I like them lined up like that. And there you go. Okay, so there you go. That's how you align the, the image there and, and you know remove that margin and everything. So hope you guys found this useful. We have a lot of tutorials dedicated to the blog module coming up, so be sure you are subscribed. Really excited about this series. There's a whole lot coming. So we'll see you guys in the next video.